these fence panels have recently blown over in the wind and uh, if you look at them they are pretty rotten so we're going to replace them. The one on the left if you look at the bottom of it you can see that it's actually touching the brickwork and that is also very rotten. So I'm going to remake the panels but I'm going to make them about 10 millimeter smaller so that so we can have a gap all the way around. That way the wood won't rot quite as much as it has done in the existing panels. We're going to start off by measuring the original panel and this particular panel is a six foot panel. We're actually going to make this about 10 millimeters smaller at each side and then the wood won't actually be touching the brickwork which should make it last a lot longer that'll stop it going rotten and we're also going to do the same at the bottom. I'm also going to change the design slightly and down this edge I'm going to use a piece of 2x2. If you look there you can see that they've just used a piece of 1x1 one one to fix the panels in position. I'm not actually going to do that, I'm going to use this 2x2, two two. I'm going to put a piece in down this edge and then I'm going to use some 3x2 three two to span across in between it and we're going to make the fence panel that way. So to start off here I'm going to measure the height of the fence and we're going to make it slightly bigger. So I'm going to make them about 35 inches long. Once the panel's been made and it's all been nailed together I'm then going to cut the top off using a jigsaw. So I'm going to start off by cutting the 2x2 two two for the edge of the panels using the chop saw. Whenever you cut a piece of timber like that before you use it externally it's a good idea to treat it. So in the paint kettle down there I've got a couple of inches of clear wood preserver. I'm just going to stand that up in the wood preserver for five minutes and let it soak up some of the wood preserver. I've now placed a piece of 2x2 two two at each end of the panel and if we measure the gap in between those two pieces we get the length that we need to cut our timber at for the braces going across. So I've cut one already and I've cut it approximately 10mm smaller than the original fence panel. That way we can have a gap going up each end. So now we need to cut three of these for every panel that we're making. Again, when I cut a piece of timber, I am soaking it in the wood preserver. We're now going to place this piece of timber somewhere in position with approximately a 10 millimeter gap at the bottom. And then we're going to mark where we're going to actually put the holes through the timber to fix it into the brickwork. To do that, I'm trying to find all bricks rather than half of a brick. That way it'll be a lot stronger. Now we've marked it, we're going to drill it using the pillar drill. So we've now drilled that one piece and we're now going to repeat that on all other seven pieces. I'm now going to cut the feather edge boards to the correct length and the maximum height that we need is approximately 40 inches so I'm going to cut these at 41 inches. That will leave us with a small off cut at the other end. I'm now going to nail the frame together. So what I've done is I've fastened a piece of 3x2 going that way on the bench 
and then I've got the piece of 2x2 going this way. The holes that we're going to use for fixing are drilled through that side of the wood so it's important you make sure that's in the right orientation. To fix the timber to that timber we're going to use the nail gun. If you don't have a nail gun you can use nails or you can use long screws. We're going to be using 90mm ring shank nails. So we're now just going to pin the middle piece in position. And I'm now going to nail the top rail in position. And now turn this round and I'm now going to nail into the bottom bar. I've now measured where the next bar needs to be and I've put a pencil mark on there. We can now align that piece to the centre and then we can just put a couple of nails in that end. I'm going to use a couple of offcuts of feather edge board to pack this up and then I'm going to use a couple in the sides there to use as wedges. I'm going to wedge this in position, make sure it's level and then I'm going to spot through using the drill in the holes that we made earlier and then I'm going to put the wall plugs in position ready. And then once we've nailed on the feather edge board so we can just put the panel back in position and we can screw it in position. I have cut a scrap piece of wood which is the correct size to give us the distance we need at the front and back of the fence. So we now know that that is in the exact right position. So we can check that top and bottom and we can also check the level using a spirit level and that is perfectly level there. I've actually knocked two off cuts in there and that is wedging the wood in position and it's going to stay there. I'm now going to get the drill and I'm now going to drill through the holes in the timber that we made earlier. I'm going to spot through there using a thin drill bit and then once we've removed this I can then put the correct size drill bit in for the plug that we're going to be using which will be a 7mm. Whilst we've got this in position, we can mark across there where the top of the post is going to be. Now when we take this out, we know that is where we need to start with our radius for the top of the fence. To fix the panels in position we're using these 4 inch long turbo rolled XT screws which are especially made for external applications. I've put the first feather board in position and that will still give us a gap down this edge. I've checked it for being level with the spirit level and I've marked the position using a pencil. We're now going to remove this, we're going to get this back on the bench and we're going to nail all of the panels in position. I've now swapped the nails in the nailer to 50mm long ones. I'm going to make sure when I pin this that I go through the thick part of the board. So once I've got that in position, I'm then going to pin it. I've now cut a couple of pieces that size. That is the exact size to give us the cover that we need for every board. So I've used that to get every single board in position. Now I've done that, I'm gonna nail directly through the top board into the bottom board and into the wood behind. I'm just gonna put one nail into each piece of wood. So there will be three rows of nails. 
So I've now put a pencil mark directly where the centre of the timber is underneath and I'm now going to go down here and I'm going to nail every single piece of wood in position. I'm now going to nail the bottom and the top rail in position. now put the old panel on top of the new panel and we're going to trace around that to give us our radius that we require for the top. So I'm just going to mark that now using a permanent marker. I'm now going to cut the radius on here using a jigsaw with a wood cutting blade. I'm now going to cut a 4 inch cover strip for the top of the fence panels. To do that I'm using a circular saw and I've set the rip fence on it to 2 inches. When we rip down here it will leave us with a 4 inch piece that we can use to nail on top of the fence panel. I've temporarily screwed this down, this piece is too long. So on the bit that we're going to be cutting off later I have put a screw through the board into the worked up here which will hold it in position whilst I cut it. I've now cut the cover rail for the top and it is obviously slightly longer than the panel because of the radius. So it's approximately six inches longer. So I have actually cut it to the correct length. Now we need to bend it down and nail it in position. I've measured the centre of this panel and the centre of the cover strip on the top and I've put one nail going through the top. When I nail this, I'm trying to nail into the thick part of the feather board below. That way the nail has got a lot to sink into. We don't want to nail into the actual thin bit. Uh, to do this I'm not actually using the nail gun because it is a little bit too powerful so I'm knocking the nails in by hand. The important thing is to get it straight and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to nail from the centre out to the ends and that should pull the board down nicely at each side.
Well, that's how to make a fence panel using feather edge boards. It just needs uh, treating now, and that should last for a very long time.